Well, I've got news for you. You are mine now. You belong to me. Hey, everybody. It's Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. And you know what that means when it comes to the Act Games team. It means it's firmware day. We got a new firmware being released sometime today. Could be released before you watch this video. Could be released shortly thereafter. I managed to get an early look at the firmware. There's one cool little neat little feature I wanted to show you and give you a quick little walkthrough on and I'm going to give it to you right after this. Okay guys, we're going to make this one fast and quick for you, as fast as we possibly can. So on this particular update, you have the typical system stability improvements, the behind the scenes stuff. We really don't get a lot of details on those performance and user interface uh, updates that they do behind the scenes. Uh, it's pretty much included with every firmware update. They tweak a few things in the background to help the machine run more efficiently. Um, They've also given us the ability on this update to where now when you're creating your add-on games uh, to put on a flash drive on the USB file, uh, you can now use special characters when you're naming games before you couldn't use the ampersand, uh, the underscore, the apostrophes, dashes. You couldn't put those in the game titles using the add-on tool, and now you can uh, so and it'll read it just fine. So that's another minor fix improvement. The really one uh, notable highlight on this particular update is you now have the ability where if you have your at Games Legends Ultimate turned on and you're scrolling through the menus, you can now set some menu background music to play um, as you're scrolling through your games picking which one you want to play so it's kind of cool uh to have a little something playing in the background and i'm going to walk you through how to get that set up right now okay guys so uh taking a look here at the particular update notes so there's the uh the two minor things that i mentioned right there and uh what we're going to do here is we're going to start on the computer before we make our way over to the legends ultimate cabinet so it tells us that what we can do is we can now change the menu's background music uh, on your USB drive, you just need to create a folder uh, with this label, the HA8800 underscore background, and stick your MP3 file inside of there and plug it into your Legends Ultimate. So it sounds like it's going to be a pretty simple process. I, of course, as always, have my test thumb drive uh, plugged in. So we just right click inside the thumb drive, say we want to create a new folder, and from there uh, we have to label it. Uh, what was that? HA8800 background. So I'm just going to copy it and hop on back, right click, go down to rename, paste it in there, and we're done. So now we have our HA8800 background. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to open up our file explorer and we're going to find a song uh, to stick in there. I'm just going to pick something at random. Uh, let's see here. We got all kinds of sound effects and stuff. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Do we got anything worth putting in here? Uh, oh, this one's okay. So we're going to throw this one in here. All right. So now it's in there. It's inside of our folder, inside of our thumb drive. Very good. Okay. So from here, we can go ahead and eject our thumb drive. Oop, wrong button. Let's go ahead and eject our thumb drive. And let's stick it in the Legends Ultimate and see what happens. All right, all right, all right. We are on our Legends Ultimate. Let's head on over to the settings. And as you can see in the bottom right corner, uh, let's go ahead and just click on it here. Uh, double checking the version. We are on the latest version. We are on the 4.4.0. Uh, again, we got the firmware a little bit early. When you navigate over, there's your user interface preferences. And you'll notice we now have two options. The option to add your custom background, which we've already done in our prior video. Make sure you check out the channel if you missed it. As well as the ability now uh, to add the background music. At this point, you plug in your USB drive and it should find the file. And all you got to do is say yes and get that uploaded. And it should start playing the music for you. Yeah! 
And you'll notice when you enter a game, guys, the music stops. Uh, this, of course, was just a test. Just hopped into tic-tac-toe real quick, and that background music did shut off. We're going to quit the game, and I bet it starts playing. Alright guys, there you go. As you can see, it's quick and painless. No problems whatsoever. You can hop back into the user interface settings um, tile and you can toggle your background image on or off. You can toggle the music on or off as well. And of course, once it's there, once you plug it in and it downloads onto the local system, you do not need to leave that file on that flash drive or that flash drive plugged into the machine you can go ahead and take it out it's saved on the local system and in fact too what I've noticed is even if you do a factory reset if you ever have to factory reset I've noticed that my background images as well as the music it all still saves on the local system even when you do a factory reset uh, and of course you can put multiple images and multiple uh, songs on those particular um, folders, as you notice, and the bot, you can pick which ones you want to go with. So it's pretty cool, and I hope you guys enjoyed that quick and painless walkthrough. A um, couple quick side notes: I know a lot of you are asking for a Raspberry Pi video. Just so you know, it's something I've been working on over the last couple of weeks. I've noticed that the Bluetooth connectivity has had a lot of issues with it, especially with recent updates. It worked back in November. And at least on my particular machine, uh, there's been a lot of issues, but I have been working with At Games on it. And as of today, I think we may have found a solution. And if that doesn't work, we're just going to scrap it because guess what, guys? As cool as Raspberry Pis are, there's also even better ways to add and play and bring your own games onto this machine. Uh, and you guys don't want to miss it, especially with the Cloud Game Room feature that At Games is going to be uh, releasing to the world uh, soon as well that they kind of talked about at CES. And you've seen some of it on the fan pages. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, checking out the rest of the channel. We got lots of content for At Games, Arcade One Up, Toy Shock, The Works. Make sure you check out the playlists on the channel. Always check the video description notes. There's always great information in there. Please consider subscribing. We are very, very close to getting to 2,000 subscribers, and I need your help to get there, guys. I need your support. Help me out. Please hit that button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, and thanks for hanging out upstairs with us, and uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Rock and roll!